Hello YouTube. So during some of my downtime today in the studio, I decided to have a play around with my Dr. PH Martin's Radiant Concentrated Watercolours. Uh, now the first thing to notice about these is they're dye based and not pigment based, um, unlike the FW acrylics that I prefer to use. The main point of this will be that the Dr. PH Martins do not have a good light fast uh, rating such as the FW's will. So if they're going to be in sunlight or if they're going to be on your wall, they will fade. So that is a, a downside of them. So I drew up a quick design on some just plain white paper. I think it's uh, some mixed medium paper, maybe 160, 170 pound. Um, Nothing textured, nothing too special. It's just to test out how this, this all works. So we we'll start with the pink there, which I believe is the Alpine Rose, if I'm not mistaken. I'm um, just mixing it with a Derwent water brush to get the, the fade there. As we can see, it fades, fades pretty quickly, being a, a, a dye base. It mixes with water and it dilutes the, the power, the uh, saturation, if you will. Um, and obviously, on a white paper, being a fairly translucent dye, the, the colours stay fairly fairly vibrant. Um, so, pretty quickly, just just going over over the pink here to to see how the fade goes. Um, nothing too fancy, really. Now, the one thing I did find about these uh, the the dye based is. A little bit of the dye goes a, a long way. I was literally only dipping the, the the tip of my paintbrush into the into the ink here, um, and that was by far enough to do each of the leaves. Um, and that's a fairly good thing in the respect of the PH Martins are, are rather pricey for the set. Actually, I I had a, had a quick look, and for the for each set of fourteen colours, you're looking to pay about eighty to ninety euros, um, which in one respect, isn't bad. They go they go a long way, but in the uh, in the first set, at least that I've got a lot a lot of the colours we have, the pinks, there's the three or four pinks, and they're all fairly similar. There isn't that much dis, uh, distinction between them, so it would have been nice to have maybe a different red. The red that comes with it is isn't a, a fairly deep red. It wouldn't be something I'd be happy to use on a rose or or fire or something like that. But it's 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 not bad. Um, I'm also found that the the thing with dye based is they never truly dry in the respect that you can go back over them with a wet paintbrush even a couple of days later and still start spreading the dye across the paper. So if you're doing something more old school where you need a lot of a, a, a black undercoat on this, you know, you know, some some heavy black, then putting a colour over the top would just mix in with the black. So I'd be tempted to use something like the FWs, which once they're dry, they're, they they won't be reactivated just by adding water. Um, we're now moving on to a fairly generic green here. I think it's a, a, a grass green. Um, just to, to see what we can get with these leaves. And as we can see, the fade on the edge. It's fairly easy to, to get these nice, subtle um, and even fades I suppose you could do it just with a a paintbrush with some water, um, but the the water brushes do help. They keep the bristles bristles wet, a uh, constant constant flow. So it's 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 easy to control control the dye um, compared to if using the FWs. You have to have a, a a bit more water, being a thicker thicker medium. Um, so I don't think I do do much green on here, to be honest. I think I do maybe a few leaves, and I start to move on to some yellow. So again, we can just see we can see the ink running across the page there before I started fading it. It's it's, it's easy to push it around, being water based, and it's it's fairly fairly quick flowing. So you don't you don't have to worry about getting the fade down in one pass and getting it perfect every time. You can go back and you can touch it up. I think maybe later on I do address that. There's some that I wasn't so happy with. I put a bit more green on and yeah, um, rework the fade. So now moving on to a yellow here. Um, and this is just the standard lemon yellow. Again, in this set, this is the only real yellow you get with a set. I would have preferred more of an Indian yellow or a golden yellow um, for, for a, a, a deeper colour. But yeah, working with what we got, it's, it's, it's not a bad colour. Uh, again, we can see the fade 
goes from the yellow to a fairly light, light yellow, almost white, fairly easily there. So again, just to the, the leaf fading pretty quick, but which time, you know, the, the, the fades, the fades aren't much different than if you were doing them with any other type of paint with the FWs specifically. Um, obviously with the, the dye base, you can leave them on the page a bit longer while I put down the yellow for two leaves there before I did the fade. If you're using the FW, it, it possibly dry a bit quicker. Um, now here I had to stop halfway through a customer came in. I'd started doing some green on the top leaves. I forgot to put back on record. So I'm just finishing off the tips and leaves to add the, the green to yellow fade, which is something I wanted to try fading between two colors and trying to get an even blend. Um, and it is a bit easier with the with the dye based ones than the acrylic based ones. But again, we're trading off the ease of the colors for the light fast ability and the archival qualities of it, which if you're putting up on your wall, if you're keeping them in public view for a long time, the FWs really win at that. They've got the they've got the longevity there. So the PH Martin's Radiant Watercolor would be great if you wanted to do manga or comic book art or anything like that where you want the colors to really jump off the page. But if it's something that's going to be on the wall and exposed to the sunlight for prolonged periods of times, then it isn't going to stand up. You're going to have to be repainting it over and over again, which in the long run, we don't really want to be doing. So if you were going to paint something, then scan it into your computer and send it off other places, they'd be great for that. I believe you can get a UV protective coat, like a varnish that you paint over dye-based inks, and that helps protect them from sunlight and stops them fading over time. But I haven't tried it myself, so I can't really comment on it. So all in all, they are great dyes, and they do have lots of useful applications. But as we mentioned, there's some things which I don't think I'll be using these primarily over the FWs in the long run.